Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Um, we take a look at the short-term Ethereum chart and it's actually quite simple um, to put this. Um, there are a few different possibilities, but there's actually a clear strategy that one can follow now. Um, and also in terms of you know the anticipation for the next price moves, what are the targets? So um, generally the scenario to the downside here still shows me a likely five wave move down in a uh, diagonal pattern to the downside here which could take us to a thousand dollars or lower you know that that's what we need to see we need to take it level by level at the moment certainly if we make a new low now one thousand dollars would be an ideal target maybe a little bit lower than that 980 990 but if we break the one thousand dollar level substantially then we're talking about eight hundred eighty dollars and six fifty. This would be the white wave count that you can see here, and it all depends on: do we now, in the next retracement, hold a higher low or do we make a lower low? Um, this is going to start very soon. This retracement. So if we zoom in, we are deep in the retracement zone. Yeah, deep in the resistance zone. Um, well, resistance zone, not retracement zone. We are deep in the resistance zone and we've hit the top of the channel. Now, I wouldn't get too hung up on the channel because, you know, you can draw that different ways. You could even say that, you know, maybe it's more like that and we haven't even touched it yet. So things are still a little bit unclear in terms of that. Um, but the channel is more like to give you just like a guide, right? Um, I have currently no indication that this move to the upside has topped. It should ideally, but if it breaks way higher, it would be, it would even put more emphasis on this kind of yellow wave count, right? Which would be the bullish count uh, or at least short term bullish. But we take it now step by step. Um, so generally we can still look at this as a wave four, which would result in a wave five down. Of course, we don't know that yet. And therefore the next retracement will give us clarity because should we be in the yellow count, which is possible, we've got enough waves to count it as a wave one, which would be a first uh, step of an uptrend here. Yeah, um, Not necessarily super bullish, but possibly embedded into in a bearish, overall bearish count still. But um, we it all depends on the retracement. So again, I don't have a sign that this wave topped yet. It could still push higher. But assuming we come down now, and I think we will soon anyway, you know, we are sort of fairly high. We even have a bearish divergence on the one hour chart now. If we hold in the retracement the level of $1,098, yeah, all the way down to that level, this is the key support we need to hold. If we are holding this level, then I can focus on higher short term. Yeah, so this would be the area where most likely you would expect a wave two to get into between 11.30 and well, 10.98. And from here we could then look at a wave three to the upside, possibly reaching like the 13 to $1,400 level. Um, but for that we need to hold this, this support. So at the moment I wouldn't do anything. I would wait for the retracement because the retracement is going to give us a lot of clarity. If this level holds, we can focus on a higher. Does it mean we're breaking out and go full bull mode? No, because this could still be an alternative wave circle, a uh, wave four in circle. So basically this one, yeah, where I've put the wave four here and we're in this downtrend. Um, however, this could also just, it could just be as indicated here, an ABC, this would be the yellow count. And then I would have to move the wave four here. So that's the alternative for the wave four, absolutely possible. And we would then come down afterwards. So again, we need to take it level by level. If we hold this yellow support box down there, again, I will focus on higher. And if we have these five waves complete, if we then hold the retracement and make a higher low, then we can talk about the lowers in. Because until then, this is just a larger three wave structure in A, B, C. But if we see a fourth wave, yeah, so basically one, two, three, four, and five, which is what I mean, if we hold support, yeah, 
then we can say we've got a proper five wave move up and we can say with later a greater confidence that an overall low of this bear market was already in. But then there's no reason to panic because this would be a five wave move and it would most likely come down in an ABC, which would be another entry point. So you can see there's no reason to FOMO generally. There's always other entry points. Um, and these retracements are going to give us a lot of clarity about in which scenario we are. This here will be another possible long entry point. Um, because as long as the 78.6% retracement is holding, we can focus on higher. So it should tell you also where you could possibly set a stop loss. Um, and here, move down imminent, I think. But again, I have no sign that we have topped yet. We could very well move higher in one more wave, um, a little bit higher, you know, try to break out of the channel. But yeah, this should, um, this should make it quite clear what we're doing here. Um, it continues to be the case that if we break $1,000, we should see 650. Um, and an overall bullish case is of course possible, more likely than for Bitcoin, I think. But I want to see clarity here that we are moving up in five waves and that we hold the retracement, you know, and then I'm going to, to confirm that probabilities for all moves are very close together. That doesn't make it easier. But the structure to allows us, especially with Ethereum, the structure allows us to be very strategic about it. Because, you know, you can, of course, you don't know, you know, could we come down this wave five or not? Um, do we hold the wave two in yellow? I mean, nobody knows that. The market will decide that. But these are entry, you know, these are trade setups. That's essentially what you're looking for. You know, don't try to control something you can't control, like the market but you can control your entries, you can control your asset uh, exits, you can control your risk um, and so on. And uh, hopefully you can control your emotions at least to a certain degree. Uh, but yes, yeah, certainly not an easy market, but I find the Ethereum chart still very, very interesting. And again, it allows us to, to be very strategic. I continue to have my um, long positions for Ethereum open, both of them that I entered here somewhere <laughs> one was at i think 1210 and one was at uh, 1130 so it's basically cost neutral right at the moment i've got stop losses set below a thousand dollars some of those uh, long positions when i entered them some of those those um some of those coins went actually to uh, my hardware wallet as dca yeah um long term but some are for a swing trade here and if it doesn't work out which i will know if we break below a thousand dollars then, um, or at least it will be very likely then, then um, yeah, I'm gonna get stopped out and then we'll just reset lower. Okay, and that's my update about Ethereum. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.